Hello, my friends, Steve the Musician here. So up till now, we have learned to play in the key of A. You know three chords in the key of A, and three chords, the three most important chords in any key, which for you people who really like theory are the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. Video coming up in a few weeks, starting to discuss what that means to you. Um, so, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord can get you playing loads of songs. Now, this is just a beginner rhythm guitar course. We're not going into specifically what songs you can play during this particular series. We might do it in the future, but if you hunt around, you can find loads of things in the key of A. Different blueses, things like that. Here's a hint. Hound Dog. Blues. Lots of songs out there that are just a blues. Okay, moving on. I have a system, and if you follow these in order, you're going to be able to play in a whole bunch of different keys really quick and easy, because I figured out a specific order of learning the chords in. Okay, here we go. So, we learned A and we learned E, because they're very important. Then we learned D. Well, here's the thing. Today, we're going to talk about playing in the key of D, because the key of D has in it D, which we already know, a, which, we're, which we already know, learning to speak, and G, which is an extremely helpful chord to know. So, we are about to learn G. You're going to notice that we do this in the same way we learn the other chords, because it works. Okay, I've tuned my guitar, my snark tuner, which I happen to love. Hey, snark, if you want to give me money to promote you. Bring it here. I, I love these, these tuners. Okay, so we're going to put a G, looking the way I'm set up today, in this little chair here. Look at the chair. I was recording with my son earlier. I'm sure you'll see the video up by now. And he was sitting in that chair. He's amazing. We're going to put the G, I believe, right about here so that you can see the G. Now, as with everything, there's a load of different ways of playing G. I have a way that I like to teach students. And it's, trust me on it, okay? Trust me. It'll make your life easier to play the G this way. And then eventually move on and play however you want, so long as it has the correct notes. Okay, so for G, we are starting with our pinky. And a lot of the G is happening here on this belly button. Fret three, belly button. I'm going to take my pinky and I'm putting it on the first string, thinnest string is the first string, fret three. I am putting my ring finger, I do love my wife, but I forget to put on my wedding ring. It's sitting in its, I have a, a, a secure place for it for, you know, when I'm not wearing it. Uh, ring finger goes right here on string two, okay? So pinky, string one, it's the fret three. Hopefully you guys have the belly button in yours and make your life easier. Otherwise you can use like a, um, a little sticker. Just put a sticker on it. It's fine. Um, ring finger goes right there on string two. Okay. Now we're reaching across the neck of the guitar. Pointer finger. I'm trying to make this so you can see it. Pointer finger is going right there. String five. It's the second one to the end. Fret two. Middle finger goes right here. String six, that's the fattest string, right on belly button, fret three. Okay, I want to show you that again. Okay, pinky. By the way, if you hear my beagle in the background, I'm sorry. Any of you who own beagles, love the beagles, they'll take care of the beagles, and they'll still cry like you're some horrible person who hates beagles. My beagles get the utmost of care, and yet you might be hearing her cry right now. If not, sorry for my little uh, going off the track there. Okay, pinky is string one, fret three, the belly button fret. Ring finger, right there on string two. Now, when I think of this, I actually am usually thinking about my middle finger first, okay? Just because it's easier for me. I'm stretching across the guitar and I'm putting my middle finger 
on the sixth string, the fattest string, right there on the belly button, fret, fret three. And my pointer finger is going on fret two. And we'll have our diagram here so that you guys can see it. And we strum it. For a lot of people, that's what it sounds like. That just means you're not pressing down hard enough. Press down harder. Now, 10 points to whoever can tell me what we do next. I don't know what 10 points gives you, but go ahead and enjoy your 10 points. You know, they're virtual, they're imaginary. We do cookies. This is what we do with every new chord, okay? We pick our hands up, we put our hands down. You look, you can pause this video, you can look from the diagram to your hands, you can look from my hand to your hands. Make sure you got it right, make sure it sounds good. Pick it up, put it down. 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 For as long as you can stand doing that. The faster you want to get better, the longer you should do that. Okay, now for the secret sauce, we need to figure out how we're going to move between these chords. The chords we're going to be dealing with in the key of D are D, fancy that, A, and G. Hmm, the same ones I mentioned before. So, how you move back and forth from the chords, between the chords, is critical. And in this case, we're dealing with your ring finger. Sorry, honey, I do love you so much that I don't want to lose my ring when I do things like go for a run or work out or swimming. I know a guy lost it on a, the paintball field. I used to play. Boy, that way. can you imagine losing your wedding ring on a paintball field? Okay, so anyway, this is the finger that's going to help you go back and forth, that's going to help you move from one thing to another. So we're going to get that there. This is never getting picked up between G and D. If you're going between G and D or back and forth, you are never picking up that finger. Don't do it. So here's our G. Ready for this? G. I am now going to pivot my hand. My ring finger does not move. My middle finger comes back and cuddles. And my pointer finger goes down and I have a D. Look at that. I'm now going to go back to G. And by the way, when you play music, you need to go back and forth from G to D often. Okay? Now, my ring finger does not move. Okay? I got glue and it's right here. It's stuck there. It does not move. I pick up my hand, put my pinky down, and I make my G. Okay, back to D, I leave my ring finger. Don't pick up that ring finger. Got my ring finger and I go back to G. See this? I move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So getting from G to D is no problem. In every key, you're gonna have a chord that is a royal pain in the neck. There'll be no easy way to go back and forth from it. And in this case, it's A. So, I, I got nothing. But you see, you've been working with A ever since we started together. So you know A. So you won't have a problem. And D, you've been working with that a good little bit too. G is the only pain. So, this is what I want you to do between now and the next video. Our next video, I am going to play through a blues in D with you. So we're going to actually take this G and we're going to use it. And then I teach you one more chord and you can play in a third key. One chord at a time. Once you've learned one, all you got to do is one chord at a time with my system here. Feel free to share this with people, by the way. Feel free to share this with your guitar teacher. I hope you can get one that you can actually work with so you can get so good. Okay, so what you need to do, what you need to do when you sit down to practice, every time that you practice, is you start by cookies on the new chord, the G. Okay, practice your new stuff first. Get the hard stuff out of the way. 
Then you're going to practice going back and forth between G and D and D and G and D and G and blah, 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 right? Keeping that ring finger exactly there and not moving it. Then what I want you to do is I want you to start randomly going between G, D, and A. Just randomly, okay? And G, we got A, we got G, we got D, back to G maybe, back to D, back to A. Right? Strum with your right hand. Try to make a little cool rhythm, have some fun, noodle around. I love it. Okay? Then when you're done, you should practice your blues in A. Got it? So, put this here. Or what you should do, and you can pause it, copy it. Maybe even be a Patreon and download it, or, or have a link to it, okay? Please, if this helps you, if you like what I'm doing, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please tell your friends. Again, if you can get a teacher, I encourage you to do so. And get you, tell your teacher, I want help learning the stuff from Steve the Musician. And I am also on Facebook. I'm on Patreon if you'd like some features from Patreon. And I am also on Instagram. Keep practicing. I cannot wait to make our next video together. See you then.